Community leaders are stepping in to help homeless veterans just days after city leaders declared a state of emergency to deal with the problem. Finding a solution may be more difficult than some expect. ATVN's Taye Ojimo went to Skid Row today to get the story. Members of the Los Angeles National Council Coalition and other community outreach groups gathered in Gladys Park this afternoon to advocate for homeless veterans. Their event, D-Day for the Veterans, is an attempt to provide homeless vets with resources such as medical care and housing. It's housing first if you have your ID, if you have your social security card, um, if, if, and that's basically it. You, know, um, you have to have those documentation so that you can get housing. Monica and others say today's primary goal was to provide these vets with their identification cards and move them into transitional housing in the Westwood area. But the event didn't go as planned. 250 homeless veterans were expected to come, only 30 showed. A representative from Atwater Village Neighborhood Council says many veterans are hesitant to accept support because of failed initiatives in the past. They don't get any help and they get thrown back on the streets. So it's like when you talk to them, I talk to a few of them and they go, oh, I done that. And some of the homeless that did show shared the ongoing concerns and struggles they face. You can take a lot of people and give them a place to stay, but if you haven't addressed the root reasons why some people have mental, some people physical. If you don't address those issues, you're beating around the bush. Every day people sleep on the sidewalks. Every day it's like a giant refugee camp. And the city has failed us every day. Still, many in the neighborhood council groups feel it is necessary for homeless veterans to have access to support. Both the community groups and veterans hope to see a change. It's just a question of the best way to make it happen. Tayo Jomo, Annenberg TV News.